this is the big round thing, the BRT. We're out here October 26, 2011. Oh, cool, they left the ladder on there too. At 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> So, so tell me a little something about this uh, BRT. BRT was the um, using the Saturn program for the second stage on the A2 uh, test stand. Um, the second stage had five J2X engines which used the hy hydrogen and oxygen. And the catch tank was there between the test stand and the flare stack. And what it was, if they ever had an emergency and they had to dump the hydrogen out of the stage, uh -huh. you couldn't get it through the pipe to the flare stack in one shot, so this, they had an accumulator. And that's what that tank was, it would uh, uh, act as an accumulator. And this is another tank over here? That's the, uh, that's the uh, just an old LOX tank as well as our old training tank. Oh, okay. And then there, you can see the beer can crushed over there? Yeah. Okay. And this is Brian Maynard, by the way. He's uh, He's responsible for getting this yeah, project done. <laughs> now, who, who, who are you and uh, how did this project come about? Well, the project came about, uh, I work for NASA, Stennis Space Center. The project came about... This uh, is uh, Brian Maynard. Brian Maynard, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, came about uh, actually 10 years ago. It's, I've been watching this tank out off, off the test stand and I kept looking at it and said, man, that'd make a nice little artificial reef. About uh, April of this year, they decided they're going to demolition it. So I went ahead and put a proposal in and got with the state of Mississippi and they all thought it was a nice idea to make it an artificial reef and uh, through some funding from the NASA's uh, demolition pot that we were going to use in the uh, state's artificial program, um, we've now about a few minutes away from uh, deploying it. That's great. Looks like it should make a good fishing reef right here in uh, FH-13. Uh, sit high up in the water. A little bit west of the St. John, a little north. Slightly east of the Gwen Tide. Uh, the tank, the, the tank is um, the, the main vessel is uh, made out of aluminum. It's about five eighths thick, and then attached on the legs, it's about three inches thick. And then the actual legs themselves are uh, made out of stainless steel. And, uh, but it's all designed such a way so that uh, they can handle the uh, cold temperatures of uh, liquid hydrogen and uh, not crack. That thing weighs how much? Hundred thousand pounds. I never thought that was the skin. It's the legs. Well, the, 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 the vessel itself, minus the long legs, weighs about 69,000 pounds. With the legs, that's the extra weight. weight leg, each of those legs weighs about 2,000 pounds. Wasn't freaking ready. What I thought was going to I thought they were going to give us a countdown or something. Oh, absolutely. The rainbow, man. You get all that. There she goes. Oh. Sweet. Stands up like that. That'd be awesome. We should have just stuck something on the end of it so we'd shoot down in the bottom and hold it there. <laughs> wow! Some air coming out of it. <laughs> it's gonna float a while. That was good. That is good.
Both of those ended up being vertical. That was just a huge move. 